Welcome to week seven coaches planning video. Let's take a look at the week seven SEL. This week we'll be focused on self-management, setting short-term goals. Let's look at a few tips. Our first tip is to give the players a short-term goals for the practice. They could choose shouting out a player every game, staying positive even if they get frustrated, or volunteer or try something new. Another tip is to check in after every game to see who has improved in their goals. Now let's take a look at Week 7 Soccer Skills. Week 7 Dribbling 2.0 Small Touches Keep the ball close and take tiny touches to have control of the ball. Use the sweet spot of your foot. Use this in tight spaces and when shielding the ball so no one can steal it. Ready for a challenge? Try changing directions while dribbling. Fake a kick with one foot, and then use the inside of the foot to push the ball behind the planted non-kicking foot to change directions. Week seven, dribbling 2.0, big touches. Focus on kicking the ball two to three feet from you at a time. You want to do this move when you have a lot of space in front of you and you need to move quickly. Use the laces on your shoe. It's easier to run and dribble. It's time for a challenge. Try the Maradona turn. When dribbling at a defender, step on the ball with one foot and then plant the same foot past the ball while pivoting your body to one side. And use the other foot to then spin the ball past the defender. Now let's take a look at this week's games. For day one, your warm-up is Foxtails. Unopposed game, one, two, three, come to me. And the opposed game is Knockout with your 25 minute scrimmage. For day two, you'll warm up with Mountains and Valleys. The unopposed game is Tick Tock Around the Clock. And the opposed game is Tick Tock Around the Clock with Defenders. Ending with your 25 minute scrimmage. Have a great week this week. Now let's take a look at the Captain's Corner. This is for your team leaders. Now remember, even if you don't have TTL captains, you can still choose team leaders to help you support practice. During your first practice of the week, make sure to show your team leaders this week's goal. Partner with a player you don't know well and work together to improve your skills. Then choose jobs for each team leader so that they can support you during practice. And when you practice the soccer skill, if they're ready, give them the advanced soccer skill to practice. At the end of the week, fill out the coach's comments to reflect on how the leaders did this week, and then touch base with your TTL coach to pass on your comments. And finally, after you've reviewed the curriculum, fill out this week's prep form to check your understanding and receive your planning pay. Program managers will input your hours after they've reviewed the responses. It's time for the